we can literally solve all the world's problems with good communication. If you won't see it in person, don't do it online because treat it the same way. It's easy to keep your motivation when you keep getting bad messages, right? Like I've got so many more people to help. If you were outside the car, there is no way on earth you would be behaving like this. It's not about being, oh my God, I'm a warrior prince and I'm going to say whatever I want to say. And I, just because I know no one can get me through the keyboard. But that's not the case because your goal is to get clients. I am one of the per people that will walk down the sidewalk and flip somebody off the, in front of them. But that's me. If somebody's an ass to me, I will pretty much tell you you've been an ass. <laughs> You're never actually taught how to communicate. You just learn little bits and pieces as you grow up from the people around you and stuff. You never really learn how to communicate. People are afraid of just showing up as themselves that people aren't going to like that. They're not going to accept them. Rejection now is a positive thing because yeah. it's somebody who I shouldn't have been working with, who I pushed away. If you are offending someone in your marketing, you aren't doing it well enough. If you aren't offending people, then you're not doing it well enough. We give this perception publicly that, that Lots of followers and lots of interactions means we're, we're raking the money in. And we'll tell people we're raking the money in. And newsflash, most of those people aren't. There's too much fake out there for yeah. me. And it makes life really hard for everybody who's genuine. Like yeah. when you see all that fake out there, you assume that's real. First of all, have genuine curiosity. Uh, a lot of people talk too much about themselves and don't leave the door open and ask questions. I say I'm from the States, but I live in Portugal. And everybody's immediately like, oh my God, how'd you live in Portugal? That's so cool. So I immediately just pull out a story working with a client or something that I saw happened that surround what I do. Creating a conversation with somebody is not just jumping into the ring box and expecting a conversation. Yeah. It takes time and effort. Yeah. It means it can't be automated a lot of the time. If you're following people who are telling you you need to spend more and more time online, more and more time messaging people, and more and more time creating content, doing things the wrong way because... More volume does not mean more quality. Yeah. Be more human. Realize you are talking to human beings and think about the things you're saying. Would I literally, I tell everybody, if that person was sitting across the table from you and you said that to them, how would that make you feel? 